Hello everybody, in this video we're going to talk about average rate of change for square root functions. And specifically what we're going to do is look at two square root functions that deal with free falling objects. So over here on the left side of the screen we have a free falling object on the moon, and that is represented by an equation. On the right side of the screen we have a free falling object on Earth, and that is represented by a graph. So we're going to look at two different representations today, and we are going to compare their average rates of change. So the reason why it's average rate of change, we know that these are square root functions, which is a radical function, which is a non-linear function. So the rate of change is not constant, but we can use average rate of change to get a pretty good idea of the behavior of this graph, especially over a certain interval. All right, so on the left we have V of D is equal to the square root of two times G times D, and G is a constant and D is our distance that the object has fallen, and G is 1.6 meters per second squared. Um, and then on the right side we have our graph, okay, and we see the x-axis is labeled with distance fallen and the y-axis is labeled with velocity. And our question here is in this, this uh, blue oval, um, and it says compare the velocities over the interval d equals 5 to d equals 20. So for the graph we have from 0 to 50 that we can see, um, but they just want us to compare from 0 to, or excuse me, from 5 to 20. So for our equation it's pretty simple. All we're going to do is plug in 5 and 20 for D, we're going to plug in our 1.6 for G, and we're just going to solve it and we're going to get two coordinates and we're going to find the slope between those two coordinates. So we're going to say the V of 5 is equal to square root of 2 times 1.6 times 5. And the V of 20 is equal to the square root of 2 times 1.6 times 20. All right, so when we plug in our calculator for V of 5, we're actually going to get the square root of 16 which is equal to 4, and for when d is 20, and we plug that in, we actually get the square root of 64, which is 8. So now this gives us two coordinates. We have 5, 4, and we have 20, 8. And so now with these two coordinates, we can find the slope between those two points, or the rate of change, if you will. So we can say that the m, or the, the slope, or the rate of change, is equal to, and we're going to do 8 minus 4, over 20 minus 5. So this gives us 4 over 15. And when we type this in our calculator, um, this is going to give us approximately 0 0.27. And we'll write this as meters per second since it is a velocity. Okay, so now we know the velocity of the object on the moon is 0 0.27 meters per second between the distance of 5 meters to 20 meters. So now let's change up our color and let's look at the graph, which is going to show us the, the um, free-falling velocity, if you will, or the distance and velocity of an object on Earth. All right, so now we want still when d is equal to 5 and d is equal to 20. So for the graph, we can just zoom in here to see when d is 5 and when d is 20. Okay, so what we see is two points that are um, have a nice intersection. So we can say when d is 5, that would be like the point 5 comma 10. And when d is 20, that's the point 20 comma 20. And so now what we can do is, just like we did with the equation over there, just find our slope between those two points. Okay, so if we did that, we would say m is equal to 20 minus 10 over 20 minus 5. So now this is going to give us 10 over 15, which re would reduce to um, 2 thirds. And so now we can say that it would be approximately 0 0.67. And we'll go ahead and write that down here at the bottom, that would be approximately 0 0.67 meters per second. And so now we can um, interpret and compare these two average rates of change or these average velocities. So on the moon it says we had 0 0.27 meters per second and on Earth 0 0.67 meters per second. And what we are doing is comparing between the distance of 5 meters and 20 meters. So if we think about gravity on the Earth, gravity on the moon, um, it makes sense for our answer, our velocity on Earth, to be a higher number, right? We've seen videos or images of people um, walking on the moon or astronauts in space in a spaceship, and they're just kind of floating around, right? Because um, the gravity is not as much on the moon as it is on Earth, okay? So this is an example of how we can compare average rate of change on two square root functions.